Turns out the elderly needed protection from these former Atlantic County Adult Protective Services workers and a lawyer and a senior home care company owner and an aide. All in prison or on the way after pleading guilty to stealing money from the elderly, some of them as much as $2.7 million from a dozen clients. The state attorney general's office calls them the lowest of con artists and the case one of the most egregious of elder fraud that we prosecuted in years. The AG reports abuse of the elderly goes well beyond the financial. Its 2014 numbers show assault and harassment make up more than 80 percent of the reported offenses against those 60 and older. This is one of our rooms. Jewish Home Family in Rockley takes in abused seniors. It finds an empty room and houses those referred here for three to four months and helps them find a permanent home. These new residents are not identified as abused and can take full advantage of the home's cafe, beauty salon, medical services, and grounds, all for free in a program called Senior Haven. How are you able to do this where, where you absorb all of the costs? Because it's the right thing. It gives them hope when they were, had no hope. It gives them the possibilities when they thought there were no possibilities. It gives them the potential to have a fulfilling life. And just because you're in your 80s doesn't mean it's over. It can be a new beginning. Jewish Home opened Senior Haven last year, calling it the 14th elder abuse shelter in the country. Different from typical domestic violence shelters with stairs and children's toys and more. One of the objectives of Senior Haven is to educate the community on how to identify problems because that one person could be, make the difference. The bank teller who notices the transactions, the beautician who does hair and notices the elderly person winces when they touch them. Advocates say complaints of abuse against the elderly are rising because more education leads to more awareness, leads to more reports. Statistics from three fiscal years show complaints from long-term facilities are rising and so are the number of cases opened for investigation. Ten years ago, Rhea Sklar began working to form SAFE, Save Abused and Frail Elderly. SAFE offers a hotline to receive calls and refer callers. One of the questions that was once given to me was that uh, I have a friend and she is uh, upset because her son is uh, Every time he comes, he wants money. SAFE says in 2016, the effort needs better agency-to-agency -agency coordination and resources, uh, particularly for agencies that go out to investigate. They need people to go out and do it. SAFE spends thousands of hours a year educating the public, police, and professionals about senior abuse. It's hard to understand, but there are many people who will not say anything because it is their child. SAFE will teach the public about how to address such delicate issues and more at a conference October 14th in Mawa. Michael Hill, NJTV News.